All right, it's been a while since I've done a little humidor tour. So I thought I'd do a little update. Um, I just filled my humidifier, so disregard the 64% humidity. It's usually right at 70, so the doors have been open for a bit. Uh, so I still have some of these uh, Cohiba Secretos Maduro 5s. Hang on to those for a while. I like them. Um, some Ramon Alones. This box is from 2019. Hidden behind there is an unopened box for backup. Brand new. Not necessarily brand new, but from 2019. Uh, some Boulevard Limitada. These are box of 10. Got six left, also a 2019, I think a 2018 box. Um, these are Libertadors, some of my favorites. And hidden behind there is an unopened box of Bolivar, I believe. Oh yeah, it is unopened. It's still in plastic. Uh, 2020 and 20 Petit Coronas. Nice little quick smoke, cup of coffee, maybe in the morning. Not, don't have a lot of time to smoke. Um, this box here, also, uh, I think I want to say 2019, 2020. Um, Serie D number six, Partagas. Very good cigar. Juan Lopez. This box here, I've had probably since 2017, 2018. Um, this is a selection number two, I believe. Uh, Really nice smoke, underrated for a Cuban cigar. Highly recommend it if you can get them. Um, very cost effective, at least in today's day and age. Coming down row number two, another one of my favorites. <clears throat> Based on the number two sizing, the Bolivar Bellicoso Fino. There's uh, a little more than a half a box left, so as you can see there's quite a few under there. Um, hidden behind there is an all-time favorite. Smoking kills. Watch out for that. This box is open but not touched of the famous Royal Coronas. I love these. All-time favorites right there at Boulevard's. So, sometimes you can't display them all. Uh, another <clears throat> highly underrated product, uh, the Vegas Robania. Comes from the same fields that your Cohibas come from. Um, Hirochi Robena is the grandson of the creator of, or the, the original grower of the Cohiba tobacco and the Vegas Robania come from that same farm so if you can find them I know Hirochi has his own I believe Dominican brand of Robania but get the get the Cubans if you can uh, Partagas Maduro number one still about a little more than half a uh, box left um, also a 2020 product I was lucky to get these when I could they're phenomenal. The, the Maduro Partagas are very limited, so if you can find them, get them hidden back here, untouched, unopened box of the Partagas Maduro number two. Uh, I think I got these in 2020, <clears throat> and I haven't touched them, so they're still sitting there, unsmoked, unopened. Uh, coming over to the H. Upman line, This box is the Connoisseur A's. It's a decent, a little bit bigger, more likely a Toro size, definitely a little bit bigger than your traditional Robusto. Um, half a box of those. If I go to the back of that, I still have a couple of the Trinidad, also a Cubans. Um, this is the Vigias, so I only have a couple of those left. A little pigtailed, mini Robustos. If you can get them anymore. 
kind of hard to find the Trinidad's, but supposedly rumored to be the blend and brand that was made specifically for Fidel back in the day, but I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, Olmec, these are new. These just came out. Um, Nick Melillo uh, is creator of Foundation Cigars, and he just put out these Olmecs that are just phenomenal. As you can see, that's Maduro. Um, I have a second box of those unopened, uh, but I just picked those up about a week ago, and I really love them. Shelf number three, P-Series number two from Partagas, same size, the number two size, famous with the Monte Cristo. This has got a box and a half of those left, or half a box, a little more than half a box. Um, this box is a friend of mine. <laughs> this is the ever so famous Fuente Perfection number two. Got this box at the last outing uh, Fuente did before the pandemic. Um, 2019 at Holtz. Uh, I believe this box was this Opus X Perfection number two box at the time was about 600 bucks. I haven't smoked a single one of them. I think that box right now would go for about 1500 bucks if you can get them. Uh, the infamous Monte Cristo number two. I have half a box of those left. I love them. They're nice, they're mild. They're, uh, like I said, they're famous. Everybody loves Amani number two. Um, got some Hoyo de Monterey's, some more of these. There's just a couple left, but this is the Serie La Hoyo. I love them. Medium, medium body, not too strong, but I'm more of a strong cigar fan, so they're not my favorite, but I like them. I have the, uh, <clears throat> Another highly underrated product, St. Louis Ray. If you can find St. Louis Ray Cuban cigars, snatch them up. Very underrated, very good smokes. Uh, everybody says, I gotta have a Cohiba, I gotta have this, I gotta have Monte Cristo, gotta have a Partagas. Uh, do yourself a favor, spend way less money and have just as good of an experience with a Cuban product from St. Louis Ray. Coming down number, what row is this, number four? So I have a little more than half a box of those Perdomo uh, 20th anniversaries. Um, a nice forgot, a nice cigar, more than half a box. Uh, a really nice cigar. Um, valued at, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks a smoke. Um, full bodied 20th anniversary. I have several boxes of these. They come in 16s, but the Vigueros Cuban product, Pinar del Rio, which is the uh, ever so special region of Havana that grows cigars, tobacco. Um, but these are nice. They're a full bodied smoke. They're super cheap. They come in these tins. For a, for a Cuban cigar, they're just phenomenal. As you can see, I have uh, Entre Tiempo and Tapadas. One, two, three boxes. I don't know if I have any hidden back here, but three boxes of those. Um, I went on a, as you can see, I went on a little splurge. The next uh, three boxes of here, Romeo and Julieta. So again, from the number two style, this is their uh, torpedo line. Uh, Bellicoso line, I love those. They're, they're a little too mild for me, but I really love them. Um, I should say I really like them, can't love everything. And then these are, I think these were just reviewed in Cigar Aficionado, the Wide Churchill. They were like a 90 rated, uh, really nice smoke. And then over here, if I can get it in the camera view, is the short Churchill. So it's more of a Robusto. Um, maybe smaller than a Robusto, so half a box of those, a uh, box and a half, really. And then back here, some more Bagueros, holding up these lids, uh, hidden in the back, unopened. Uh, row number five, no particular reason, but there's the other box of the Olmec from Foundation, still sealed. 
just got these, like I said, a week, two weeks ago. Um, this box by My Father's Cigars is from 2016 run of every year they have a uh, Pepin Mania. So Pepin uh, series of cigars. And this, like I said, was from the, one of their 2016 Pepin Manias. And it was the last box. And I, I bought it, I believe, in 2019. Again, pre-pandemic event. Uh, more than half a box of those left. Uh, also, on my father's, they bought out, they re uh, launched the Fonseca line. So I have a couple boxes of these Bellicosos. Um, I think I smoked. Oh no, there they are. They're down there in the bottom row. Uh, another box of my father's. But uh, these Fonseca smoke really nice, mild to medium. Uh, my Padre, or my Padron anniversary these are 64 anniversary these are the if I can get it Hermoso, Hermosos they're they're tiny but these things will burn because they're such a good size like thickness they will burn for a good 40 plus minutes and it's a phenomenal smoke Padron has to be one of my all-time favorite products um, great family great heritage uh, their anniversary line is phenomenal. And then following up on that, I have a mixture here. I got these, the lighter ones here are non-Maduro. Uh, so I just threw them in with this Maduro box. But I got these four from a friend uh, for the holidays. Um, but these, there's more than a box, just about a whole box of these. I've also had this box from uh, 20... 20 or 2019 pre-pandemic box uh, exclusivos again Padron and Fuente my two favorite products on the planet um, not gonna lie they'll blow away any, any Cuban made uh, down here in the bottom row is the Toro of the My Father La Opulencia. Um, really, really awesome cigar. I only have a handful of those left. Uh, smoke a lot of those, as you can see. And then I have my box of singles down here, my tray of singles. Uh, you can see they're just about anything you can think of. I've put them down there. Uh, mix and match if I buy singles. Things I don't smoke all the time, but I just feel like burning one. Um, Tatuahi, phenomenal. This is a uh, Konyo no Kohuno Konyo 2002 uh, series. These are the rare rare pinks from uh, Fuente. Just got those, I think, during the holidays. Um, and again, just a, a good mixture as a part of this in there. Uh, so if I get singles, I'll just throw them in there. If there's a box running low, I'll dump them into that bottom tray. Um, it's back here. Some nubs, a little bit of everything. And then an unopened box of a 1926 Padron. Phenomenal. My, probably one of my favorite smokes right now. Um, the number 48, it's a beast. It's a six by 56, I think. Um, but just such a phenomenal smoke in Maduro. Uh, again, it's unopened. It's just sitting here along with this Olmec box. Um, just don't have any room for them anymore. But that's my current stash. Uh, as you can see, I'm a collector and a connoisseur. They're not all just sitting there collecting dust, but they're aging well. Um, I love them, love my smokes, and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick humidor tour. Uh, any questions, just drop them. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks, man.